Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the History of Molecule. So this is the continuation lecture of Kenninger reaction. Today we shall discuss about cross Kenninger reaction. In previous two videos I have described about Kenninger reaction, basic concept mechanism and second one is example and this is the another example you can say but a different concept. So let's start. So you can see cross Kenninger reaction means two different type of aldehyde having no alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen. Okay. So this is the basic criteria, and all the things are same. And question is, what is the advantage of cross Kenninger reaction compared to normal Kenninger reaction? Why should we follow this process? Because we can selectively reduce or oxidize the particular compound. So, the most important point is selectivity for this cross Kenninger reaction. What do I mean selectivity? It is observed that if we do the cross Kenninger reaction with formaldehyde and any other aldehyde, both having no alpha hydrogen, then formaldehyde selectively reduced to selectively reduce to formic acid. And another thing, this another aldehyde is reduced to alcohol. For example, if you have benzaldehyde and formaldehyde, this is benzyl alcohol and formic acid still. Okay. And here, for example, those aldehyde who are not that much active for that strong alkali, high temperature, this thing needed, but this could be avoided using formaldehyde. Why and how? Means why this formaldehyde is so much reactive and actually. This formaldehyde is sometimes called superaldehyde. This why formaldehyde is so much reactive and what is the utilization of this concept? Okay, so formaldehyde is so much reactive. This is because two reasons: carbonyl group and hydrogen. This because it is attached to a carbonyl group and this carbonyl group is attached to hydrogen. So that's why plus I effect is not that much present. Compared if we compare this thing with ketone or Acetyl means acetyl dehyde, whatever this thing. These are plus I effect, okay? Not present. Second, these are relatively more bigger, bulky, but hydrogen is small, so less bulky. Okay. So, in this property makes the formaldehyde very easy, such that nucleophile can attack formaldehyde very easily. I have made a video about Tollens condensation, where you can say the normal aldol condensation, the attack on the car means enolate to the carbon ion is RDS means RD state but in case of formaldehyde this is not a RD state because formaldehyde is relatively less bulky consequently this attack is not RD state only the ionization state is the RD state which results ultimately penta erythrotol that's a unique molecule please see that is a combination of both formaldehyde as well as cancer so uh, I will explain that here so this is so what happens in it is observed that if it reacts with water, in water formaldehyde remains 100% gem diol formation. Means it remains in gem diol. Although other aldehyde never perform, we have observed in case of chloral aldehyde. That is a special example. Why I am saying special example? Because CCl3CHO that uh, creates due to its minus I effect. This is CCl3. CHO due to this minus I effect of this, this carbonyl became electron deficient, that's why it happened. But if we compare this with CH3, the, the equilibrium mainly remains in the back side. So keep it in mind, this factor. So formaldehyde is very electron deficient, meaning means deficient and undergo gem diol formation. So if we take aqueous alkali along with water alkali, so if we compare the nucleophilicity of water versus alkali alkali is more nucleophilic as it is charged. So what happened? It will produce that carbon. So this formation means this is a nucleophilic attack on this to form this and this step is very facile that formaldehyde is in always this step. So uh, actually formaldehyde is in since this stage is, it can't accept electron because it do not have that sp2 or uh, sp2 carbon. Comparatively this benzaldehyde has that because J L diol formation tendency is very less for this. Second point due to this this one conjugation means this aromatic group, this electron deficiency also a little bit less. So what happened? We are on means fixing like one part means this acid part we are fixing using formaldehyde. Now one chance is only left. What is the chance that it will push 
and these hydride will migrate and ultimately it will attack this carbonyl group and it will open up. So this has not any chance except getting reduced. So it is reduced and formaldehyde is oxidized. Fine. This concept could be extended for other molecules like this is this see the derivation. This aldehyde is same. This is ONE or ONE. We know that electron deficient they undergo uh, this. I have explained in the first video that they undergo this uh, Kanijar reaction easily because this is more electron deficient, more electron free. So, but formaldehyde, as I told, that one part of the match is already fixed. So this is reduced to CH2OH and the corresponding formaldehyde is formic acid. Simple. This is also same. This is also same. Now the question is these are electron rich aldehyde. They are very mm, much reluctant for this nucleophilic attack. Why this is happening? Because this state. Same, by fixing one side. That's why they can undergo reaction. So it's a selective method for this. And selective why? Let me tell you another example. So if you do the Kanijaro reaction using this, this dinitrodenitrin, what happens? This is electron withdrawing group we know, and along with the this is electron withdrawing group we know, and along with this electron withdrawing nature, the nitro group this group introduces a bulkness factor also. What do I mean by this bulkness factor? Bulkness factor means due to the presence of this nitro group this cannot come into a play means so this is nitro nitro means double bond o o minus and then plus similar thing is true for this part also i am not writing so this is a carbonyl group this so after the attack after the attack of a nucleophile after the attack of a nucleophile this become a sp3 center Okay, so sp3 center means bulkness improves. Okay, so it after this attack it produces this O minus OH and here hydrogen. Right now the center is sp uh, sp3, so bulkness increases. So one problem that it doesn't work. Okay, let's consider this is happen. Actually, this happens, but the reason is different. Why? Because due to this, this cannot come up particular plane. Means what happened? This part goes. Means this oxygen comes in front of the. the consider this molecule is planted in the plane, but this aldehyde not in the plane. They are in perpet perpendicular. Consequently, the attack on this carbon is possible. So this is produced O minus this sp3 center, and what happens after this attack? After this uh, attack, instead of it, it pushes. Instead of this hydride going somewhere, means another molecule to reduce, this come back closer and ultimately produces this dinitro with this anion, and it. Getting op means uh, oxidized to the corresponding forming acid. This is the unique example. Means please keep it in mind. This is the special effect of this nitro group. Okay. Okay. Fine. So I guess you have understood about nitro group. But if the nitro group both are not in ortho position, they are if they are in this uh, meta or para position, this factor is not because in the example video, please check. And here also I have explained this. If four nitro is there, then that uh, that undergoes very easily uh, Kanijaro reaction. But this is of course Kanijaro I have discussed here in the previous video example. You can see the actual example. Okay. Oh, okay. let's continue the discussion of this point. What happens if we provide base? Means influence of base conversion is little that not that much easy. But would could be made easy. It is true that there is a one nitro, but one thing is that we know that Kanijaro reaction needs base higher concentration. Could can we make it relatively less drastic? Means is it possible to make condition less drastic? Is it possible? Yes, possible. Instead of here, let's take formaldehyde along with that. So if we take formaldehyde, we are sure that formaldehyde will be converted into. Formic acid or actually formate 
so it will be definitely reduced. So selectively we can do, and this concept could be utilized other case where the where there is a sensitive reagent, we can use strong alkali, you can use CH2. Even this idea could be extended. For example, you have an another aldehyde and you want to reduce it to corresponding alcohol. Condition is no alpha hydrogen. Please keep it in mind. No alpha hydrogen. Then what can you do? Instead of using like reducing agent like lithium aluminium hydride or sodium hydride or hydrogen palladium, those catalysts you can use simply this cross candidate concept to reduce it selectively into the corresponding aldol and separation is also easier. Okay, okay. So another cross candidate example, uh, I have details, uh, I have explained this factor in details in the video of tolerance condensation. I shall provide the link. Please see this. Uh, this is the cross in example of cross canyon reaction. So let's see. This is CH two H. This is how this is obtained. This is obtained by this is obtained by the reaction of acetaldehyde and for acetaldehyde and uh, formaldehyde as a cross aldol condensation. If we try to do that, doesn't stop in one stage. Three hydrogens are replaced and ultimately end up this details analysis. You will find it on this conversation video. So, if and in reaction medium, if excess formaldehyde is present, still what happens that alkali attacks and as I told, it produces this and this hydride goes and attack and ultimately end up reducing this carbon into this unique molecule penta erythrobal. So, what we are preparing? We are preparing acetaldehyde. Two pentaerythrobal using formaldehyde and here base is used as calcium hydroxide. Okay, so these are the total analysis of this cross canyon reaction. I suggest you please read it. It will be helpful. So if you like my teaching, please give a like, share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited. And finally, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. And finally, uh, sometime I believe my videos are a little longer, but I believe it is better to learn the more chemistry such that don't be confused whether whether it will come or not, it is important or not. If your com common question don't come from your list, then you will be in trouble. So it is better to learn more, gather more information, make yourself prepare such that you are ready for any type of question during the examination. So all the best. See you in my next video.